Hey everybody, Pastor JJ here with another Monday motivational quote. Last week I was talking to a buddy of mine and this quote occurred to me. I hadn't used it in a long time. It's from Mother Teresa and it's this really brilliant quote. I love it so much. I, I quote it all the time. It's kind of a long quote. I, I usually forget parts of it, but so I wrote it down. I'm going to read it to you. Excuse me. It says, people are often unreasonable and self-centered. Forgive them anyways. If you are kind, people may accuse you of selfish motives. Be kind anyways. If you are honest, people may cheat you. Be honest anyways. If you find happiness, people may be jealous of you. Find happiness anyways. The good you do today may be forgotten tomorrow. Do good anyways. Give the world the best you have, and it may not be enough. Give the best you have anyways. For you see, in the end, it is between you and God. It was never between you and them anyways. It makes me think in the church about, you know, people come to us all the time. They're always asking for help. Um, Maybe it's assistance with rent or an energy bill, or maybe they just need groceries or gas cards and that kind of stuff. And and we always want to help people. But I know there's a lot of pressure on people and on churches like, okay, but what if they're scamming you? What if they're lying to you just to get money? And it's like, yeah, well, that's between them and God. Right? Like, we obviously don't want to be scammed. We want to be wise with the money. So we do, uh, you know, checks and we do background checks and we we try to help people um, to make sure our help is actually help. But in the end of the day, we really just have to trust that, like, it's if that if they've chosen to be a person who cheats and who lies or who is dishonest, that doesn't change my behavior. Right? My behavior is more about it's between me and God. You know, it reminds me of a story of Alexander the Great um, when he was surveying his empire and he was riding on his horse in a parade and there was a a beggar off to the side and he said, please, sir, please give me some money. And he told one of his leaders, he said, give that man a gold coin. And the, the, the advisor was like, whoa, sir, he does not need that much money. You don't need to give him a gold coin. Why don't you just give him a couple copper pennies? That would more than suit his need. And Alexander looked at his advisor and he said, copper pennies may suit his need, but a gold coin suits my generosity. It's like we live our lives not in competition with the people around us or not, you know, like, well, if they're dishonest, I'm going to be dishonest. That's not how we determine our ethics. The right thing is still the right thing, the good thing, the kind thing. These are still good and kind, even if other people are willing to cheat or lie or be dishonest or whatever. And so it's sort of one of those things where it's like, get out there this Monday and every day, do our absolute best, pour goodness out into the world, no matter what other people do, because your life is about you. Your life is about you. It's it's between you and God. It's not between us and them. And I've always found that really helpful. Our life, it's not a competition and it's not a, a comparison of, well, if they'll do it, then I can do it. No, the right thing is the right thing. Do the right thing anyways. So anyways, I hope Mother Teresa inspires you today. Have a great Monday. See you next time. Bye.